here and welcome to my bedroom. Look, I got a new bed. Isn't it so luxurious? I feel like I'm at the hotel and it's amazing. And all I want to do is go home and sleep, which is awesome. Because remember how I was like not going to sleep for a long time? Honestly, I think if you spend time on making your bed look really good, you're going to want to sleep. So sleep, it's just as important as working out and eating healthy. This video is all about how to get motivated to work out. And I know sometimes it's hard, you feel sad, lethargic, lazy, whatever it is, but sometimes you gotta just pick up your butt and do it. Now, one of the times when I feel most lethargic and most um, unmotivated to work out is when I'm on my period. Is it okay to work out on your period? Yes, it is totally okay, but as long as you feel like you are up for it. And sometimes there are things you have to do to be up for it. Now, when it comes to the workout, I have to make sure that I am leak free and there are no accidents because, you know, I like wearing my white yoga pants and that would not be a pretty sight. So I want to share with you exactly what I use when I'm on my period because, you know, my life is working out and I don't want my period to stop me from doing what I love. So the tampons that I use are the Playtex Sport tampons. It has this 360 degree design that moves with my body, it fits my body, and also sport level protection. And to be extra super safe, I actually wear panty liners as well just to make sure I'm good because they're thin, but they're also super absorbent. Um, so yeah, do that. Just trust me, really important. And once you're over the not feeling like it hump, it is time for us to play on. And these are five ways that I get myself to get motivated to work out when I'm not feeling like it. Ready? Here we go. Number one, my biggest tip is to schedule in your workout like you would schedule in a date, an appointment, whatever. Because once it's in your schedule, you cannot miss it. So I set the time, what exactly I'm doing, so then when it comes, I'm prepared and I don't feel like, well, I don't know, maybe I'll just do five of this and four of that. Like, no, you have got to be prepared. Number two, workout buddies. It is so important to have a supportive and motivating network of friends to work out with. And even if you feel like you're antisocial and you don't like that sort of thing, try it. Whether it is going to a group fitness class or texting your friends to go out to the park and work out together, that extra motivation from other, you know, humans with energy makes you feel so much more alive and you want to push harder. You don't want to let people down. So I really do encourage you to work out with friends. And if you're looking for a place to find friends with similar interests, the Blog Lotties app is amazing because the forum is actually separated out into, you know, different cities. So you can find popsters in your local area or even if you just look at hashtag blogilates or hashtag pit28, you will find people to motivate you and support you. Even if they're not there physically, they will be there with you spiritually. You can root each other on. It's kind of awesome. Number three, set out your clothes the night before. Look, working out to me is a fun event. It's something that I can't wait for. So obviously I'm gonna plan my outfit. Some people might think that's a little bit crazy, but you know what, for me personally and for a lot of other girls, I love fashion and I want to look good and feel good at the same time when I am killing it. So then when I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, hey honey, who's that? And it's going to be so much more motivating. So if you really treat your workout like a special event and you prepare for it, you're not going to want to miss the event. Number four, music. Oh my gosh. like. About 30 minutes before I'm about to do my workout, I put on my favorite playlist, my Cassie's Pit playlist, and I play it super crazy loud and have a little dance party in my room. because I want to get my energy going, I want to get my blood flowing, and I want to be so ready for that workout that when I step into that room or I step outside, I'm ready to just pump it hard. If I'm working out without music versus with music, it is like completely two different Cassies. So I really encourage you to make your own playlist, whether it's on Spotify, iTunes, whatever, make your playlist of songs that you love to jam to that really transform you into a different person when you hear it because that's gonna give you the extra energy to go harder. Number five, all right, you're all pumped up and ready to go and now all you have to do is tie up your hair, put in your clothes, tie your shoes on, and you need to get outside and do it. Once you're there and you just 
feel how good it feels to be moving and to really give your body what it wants, which is to be active, to be able to use your muscles. I mean, it is a gift to be able to use your muscles. And just remember that incredible, euphoric feeling after your workout. I mean, you just feel happy. You feel like a different person. And if you remember how good that feels, you're never gonna wanna skip your workout again. And here's the thing. These tips will help you get to your workout, but my goal is to help you find your true reason and find your true fire for wanting to work out. And that comes from in here. That's something I can't polish on you. That's something that you have to find yourself. And what really created the mind shift for me is when I stopped thinking about fitness as a purely vanity thing, I stopped thinking about, well, I'm gonna work out this many days a week because I wanna lose this many pounds in this short amount of time. I started thinking about it as, you know what, I'm just gonna work out because it makes me feel so good and I really actually enjoy doing pit. I love dancing, I love doing Pilates. And once you just do things because you love it and you do it with passion, your body just starts to mold itself into what it was always supposed to be. Because if you keep focusing on the pounds and how slowly that scale is going down, I mean, that is just so excruciating, that is so frustrating. It's like focusing on how much money uh, you're gonna get from your paycheck instead of focusing on how good you're doing at your job so that you can get a promotion. You see what I mean here? Focus your energy on the things that matter and that end result will come anyway. It's more about how you think about it and how you approach it that's gonna get you there. And I might as well enjoy the journey of weight loss, getting fitter, instead of worrying about how long it's gonna take to get there and then feeling frustrated the whole time. Does that make sense? So guys, those are my five tips for getting motivated to work out when you don't feel like it. And I hope you really enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you do to get motivated to work out and if you work out on your period or not. I'm curious. All right, give this video a thumbs up. If uh, you also dance crazy in your bedroom, I mean, who doesn't? And um, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye guys.